Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video we'll be taking a look at what is the difference between yarn and npm. Now, when you are like, you know, browsing popular packages like Express or maybe React Native or you know, any other package which is a node module, you're going to face an option between two packages almost always. The first one being npm and the second one being yarn. So yarn is a, is another package manager which is 100% just like npm except the fact that it is yarn which is an alternative and number 2 it is backed by facebook. So facebook created yarn. Microsoft owns npm although it did not create it but yeah they own it. So the idea is that yarn was born because a couple of years back or so facebook um not really Facebook, uh, well, everybody could experience that NPM was very slow, right? In a lot of operations, and it did not include support for log files out of the box. You know, um, it did not work fast enough. There were no caching strategies, which were very good at that moment. So, you know, the tool was lagging a lot, right? And there was no competition in the space. So, you know, competition, when there is competition, the customer gets the benefit. So there was no competition and the tool did not have a lot of things, um, you know, which could be implemented. So what Facebook did is that their employees came up with another package manager out of the box and it kind of started a race between NPM and Yarn. People, you know, NPM trying to get people to use NPM, Facebook trying to get people to use Yarn. And uh, yeah, so, what happened because of this is that all along the two teams coordinated they you know just talked among each other people saw what npm is doing people saw what yarn is doing both were open source so that's not a problem and in 2020 now what has happened is both of the package managers have reached at a point where they are pretty much very similar right so yarn and npm i believe i have used both both of them um for a lot of projects and uh, pretty much they are just the same now right just you might observe yarn is a little bit fast on your dev server npm is a little bit fast on your production server you know all those little things but but the main idea is because both projects are open source and they have shared all their best strategies and you know everything both of them are good you can pretty much go ahead and choose anything but because the series is on npm i would obviously recommend you to stick to npm only because yarn's cli syntax is a little bit different than npm but yeah i mean yarn is good too if you want npm is good as well they are pretty much the same thing now but the fact that npm has been around for a long long time and uh, yeah i mean a lot of packages have um you know just, just they have been built with with the idea that npm would be installed so a lot of times some sort of cli um, functionalities might fail if you do not have npm i, I cannot really uh, remember exactly which tool i used just a couple of days back but yeah it failed because i did not had npm installed on a production server um, so yeah that's that's the idea of using npm that's one point for npm so yeah that's that's basically it for the differences between npm and yarn not much um, again, there's one thing about yarn, about yarn version 2, which, which is something for a different video. But yeah, when I'm talking about yarn, I'm talking about yarn's classic version, right? This version 1 series, right? Yarn version 2 manages stuff in a very, very different way. Um, it does not use node modules. It uses some other plug and play functionality on how modules should be managed but anyway that's not the topic we'll just stick to node modules because it's most widely supported it has been for a long time and yeah for the most part it's manageable at least so yeah that's basically it for this video i'm gonna see you pretty soon in the next one